Did you know that the fossil called Skull 5 is the world's first completely preserved adult hominin skull from the early Pleistocene? This skull was found in Manisi, a site located in the Republic of Georgia, and hence it is known as the Manisi Man. Unlike most other hominins, this one is also a controversy as some say it is a subspecies of Homo erectus calling it Homo erectus georgicus while the others say it is a whole new species on its own naming it Homo georgicus. The Manisi man is an extinct species of human which dated back to 1.8 million years ago. Scientists also say this may represent a link between Homo habilis and Homo erectus. The species had a very small brain combined with a long face and big teeth unlike many of our extinct ancestors. The jaw associated with Skull 5 was found years before the cranium was discovered, but when the two pieces were put together, they formed the most massively built skull ever found at the site. Even with the big skull, the brain size of Homo georgicus was found to be half as large as that of modern humans which was about 600 cubic centimeters. It has been suggested that H. georgicus may represent a link between Homo habilis and Homo erectus just as I said earlier in this video. With fossils only found in Manisi, Georgia, the environment at the time when H. georgicus lived is thought to have been a mosaic of forest and steppes. Evidence of the existence of Homo georgicus was first discovered in 1991 when just a jawbone was uncovered. The first cranial fossil was unearthed in 1999 which was followed by four other craniums up to 2005 namely Skull 1, Skull 2, Skull 3, Skull 4 and Skull 5 with varying characteristics and since then they have been the subject of much debate. Despite having a small brain, the fossils are associated with a total of 73 tools which proves they are no less than the large brain hominins. Using morphometrics to gauge skull shape for each fossil skull, Lord Kipenich and colleagues found that the Manisi humans varied from each other in facial features and brain size, for example, about as much as modern humans do from each other. In other words, despite minor differences, they all belonged to the same species. These individuals may not have actually lived alongside each other but apparently occupied the same place within a window of a few thousand years more than 1.75 million years ago. Of the five skulls found, one was said to have belonged to an elderly male which supposedly spread from Africa to the Caucasus Mountains in Western Asia. Most of his teeth fell out long before he died and his jaw deteriorated as a result. For him to have lived even after all his teeth fell out suggests that members of his social group must have taken care of him. This is some of the earliest known evidence for this kind of group care and compassion in the human fossil record. The discovery of the remains at Manisi has generated some very different viewpoints on naming the species. After discovering the fifth cranium, David Lord Kipenich, the founder of the fossils and colleagues, published a paper concluding the skulls found were a subspecies of Homo erectus, to which some opposing theorists responded that the mandibles, dentition and cranial vaults of the skulls found at Manisi have too many differences between them and compared to other Homo erectus specimens, the differences could not be the result of within species variation, and so, the morphological differences provided sufficient evidence for the new species Homo georgicus. Thus, the Manisi remains clearly indicate that we must review our current taxonomy to account for the natural variation that occurs over time and space. In addition, with all the skulls being of different ages, Manisi presents a unique opportunity for paleoanthropologists to study a population of different generations, sub-adult, adult and an old adult. 
However, debate will obviously continue about who the Manisi humans really were and how they fit into a broader family history. And hopefully, more discoveries will help form a complete and well-grounded idea of the Manisi man. So thanks for watching guys. Hope the video was of some help. Do tell us what you thought of it in the comment section down below. For more related videos, do check our channel out and do continue to give us your love and support by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.